What's up guys, welcome to another range day. Today I've got something really special for you. We're gonna be shooting my CZ Shadow 2 Compact customized by United Firearms. Guys, if you enjoy the content that I'm making, then please make sure to like and subscribe and leave me a message down in the comments section. I hate asking, but it really does help with the algorithm a lot, so I'd really appreciate it. And if you ring the bell icon, you should get notifications when new videos are released as well. Additionally, if you wanna get more Chester's Hobbies content, you can follow me on Instagram where you can see what I'm working on and get previews of upcoming videos. And I'm also pretty active on Reddit if you'd like to follow along with the conversations there. All right, well, that's enough of that. So let's talk about the gun of the day, my CZ Shadow 2 Compact. So I really think that it's important for me to point out a couple of things right out of the gate here. Now, first of all, if you've seen my recent video about barrel porting, you'll know just how impressed I was with the quality of work by the folks over at United Firearms. So of course I had to reach out to them to do some cool stuff with my Shadow 2 Compact, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. The second thing that's important to note here is that CZ makes some of my all-time favorite handguns. The original CZ Shadow 2 itself is easily in my personal top five. And my very first gun that I ever purchased many moons ago was a CZ-75B Omega. I got my hands on a lot of guns when I was trying to find the right one, and the ergonomics of the CZ-75 series just fit perfectly into my hands. Now here we are, several years and over a dozen CZ handguns later, and that is still very much the case. CZs really just feel like home to me. Now in the case of the Shadow 2 Compact, some of my favorite CZ pistols are my original full-size Shadow 2 and the P01 Compact, so naturally the ergonomics of the grip on this are about as perfect as it gets for my hands. I often like to refer to the P01 frame as essentially kind of a Goldilocks type grip. It's not any longer than it needs to be, but it's not too short either. It's just right. And no surprise here, the Shadow 2 Compact is the exact same way for me. Now for reference, I have medium to large size hands with very long fingers, so it's a little bit odd, but this grip frame is a fantastic fit for my hands. That said, I do have to admit when the Shadow 2 Compact was first announced, I was initially a little bit disappointed that it didn't have a steel frame. Now for carry purposes, I get it. Aluminum makes way more sense in that application. I just love the way my steel frame CZs shoot. So initially I talked myself out of getting one because of the aluminum frame, but when I decided that I wanted to focus more on handguns this year, I knew that I had to pick one up. And of course, as soon as I got my hands on one, I was instantly in love. Again, the grip ergonomics are just fantastic for me. There's a decent undercut on the trigger guard and a really nice beaver tail to help my primary hand ride nice and high on the frame. The 25 lines per inch checkering on the front and back strap of the grip feel great to me. I really like the aggressive feel. Now the safety feels just okay really. CZ safeties are usually really mushy and probably Probably my least favorite feature honestly. I did put an extra power safety detent spring in there to help make the safety feel more positive but it's still really not great unfortunately. Now the slide stop and release lever works great for me as long as I don't have an extended safety. While I do actually like the extended safeties on their own, they tend to kind of get in the way a little bit of dropping the slide with the release lever for me. So on most of my CZs, I stick with the standard low profile safety. The Shadow 2 series slides are awesome in my opinion. I think they look great and the slide serrations look and feel really good to me. They certainly aren't the deepest or the grippiest out there, but they do work very well for me. I find them to be pretty effective. Now one of the big claims to fame with CZ pistols is their internal slide slide rails and low slide mass, which I am personally a believer in. Even though they don't tend to have as low of a bore axis as something like a Glock or an M&P, they're still very easy for me to shoot well. I think a good amount of that comes from just how well the ergonomics match my hands, and then a lot of it also comes from the excellent trigger, which in the case of the Shadow 2 Compact is a double action, single action trigger with a nice tactile reset and a really clean break. The double action trigger is very smooth with minimal stacking, and the single action trigger has a nice wall and a crisp break. And then again, that reset is pretty short and very tactile which helps you get right back on the trigger. But with all that being said guys, as much as I do love CZs, I also really love customizing them. And I have had a lot of fun customizing this one. One of the very first things that I wanted to change was the grips. I think the standard aluminum grips look good, but they are way too thin for my hands and really don't give me a lot to hold on to. They're also a little bit slick for me, I tend to prefer a more aggressive grip. And it just so happens there are a ton of great options for custom grips out there, so this is always a fun decision. So for this setup, I decided that I wanted to go with something bold and unique, but also classy and practical. So I went with these antique copper Kraken palm swell grips from Vital Manufacturing. And while I personally think they look fantastic, the feel of the gun has completely transformed for me. The SP01 and P01 factory rubber grips have these nice palm swells that just allow the grip to kind of melt into my hands and feel like an extension of my arms, but they can be pretty slick, and as cool as the slim Shadow 2 aluminum grips look, they just don't give me the grip and control that I want. 
Now, these grips from Vital Manufacturing pretty much tick all the boxes and solve everything I was looking for here. To start off, the texture of the Krakens is really interesting. They're definitely far from the most aggressive grips that I've ever tried, but they're also still very effective and honestly some of the most comfortable grips I've ever felt in my hands. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think that maybe the way Vital molds their palm swells is actually slightly different from other grips that I've tried in the past. They might be slightly thicker or maybe just differently proportioned, and honestly, it feels like they were made specifically for my hands. The ergonomics are nearly perfect for me personally. I feel a lot more confident with the extra texture and thickness of the palm swells over the slim stock grips. On top of all that, these grips are literally made from solid copper and weigh a little over 8 ounces, which makes this aluminum frame Shadow 2 Compact weigh just barely less than my rare steel frame P01. And with the matching solid copper base plate on the magazine, it actually weighs just a little more than my steel frame P01. Now this may not be ideal for carry, but for fun on the range, that extra weight makes a big difference. I love shooting heavy guns, so this is a huge step up for me personally. I think the matching Vital Kraken magazine base plates look great, and they add some extra weight to the magazine to help it drop free as well. Which is really nice on the CZ platform, because in my experience, magazine ejection can get a little bit weak over time, so this should definitely help with that. Now for a magazine release, I've got a Lock Grips Gridlock Aluminum Release Button, which is super comfortable. It's slightly extended and enlarged, which makes actuation of the release very natural and easy for me without having to break my grip. Now I put a Trigicon RMR on the slide using an Impact Machine Co-Witness rear sight plate which works great for me with my Dawson Precision front sight. I did end up having to source a higher front sight because the one that Impact Machine offers was actually the same height as the standard front sight and therefore was too low to co-witness with this setup. I think what you technically want is a 0.295 inch front sight to get a perfect co-witness with this setup, but the closest I could find was a 0.305 inch fiber optic front sight from Dawson Precision and it's a nearly perfect co-witness for me so I'm pretty happy with that setup. Setup. Now, if you saw my recent video testing barrel ports with the fine folks over at United Firearms, you'll know that I was really impressed with the quality of their work and even more so with the results on the range. So obviously, I had to get them to do some work on my Shadow 2 Compact. So the first thing I did is I had them machine their now famous inline grenade style ports on the top of the slide and barrel, which allows gas from a fired round to escape from the barrel in an upwards direction under fire, effectively reducing felt recoil and muzzle rise while pushing the muzzle back down on target faster than a standard or barrel and slide setup without any ports. Now as we learned in that video, these ports were very effective on the Shadow 2 Compact with extremely minimal loss in velocity. So for me, it was really a no-brainer to go with this setup. Now the grenade style porting that you see here is identical to their traditional inline porting in terms of the holes machined into the barrel. So the grenade cuts on the slide are really just an aesthetic choice for extra flair or style that I think works great on the Shadow 2 slides personally. Then to finish it all off, I had them do this amazing custom multi-cam black black style camouflage Cerakote and I absolutely love how it came out. Believe it or not guys, this is actually the very first gun that I've ever had Cerakoted. All of my guns up until this one have maintained their factory finish, but since the slide already needed to be recoded because of the porting regardless, I figured we might as well have a little bit of fun with it. Now what's really awesome to me about this finish is that they applied an interesting technique that they call ghosting or fading. Now I'll roll in a little bit of footage and some photos side by side, but another one of their customers actually had their Shadow 2 Compact Cerakoted at the same time as mine with the exact same color scheme, except they chose to go with a traditional a hardline Cerakote and I went with a more faded ghosted Cerakote. It's really just so interesting to me how the look is completely transformed with the ghosting technique they used. I would love to do some traditional hardline camos on some of my guns in the future. I think it looks particularly awesome with big bold colors personally. But for this one, I wanted something that was very attractive but a little bit more subtle and I think that's exactly what was achieved with this ghosting technique and color scheme. So if it's not obvious by now guys, I am just super impressed with the quality of the porting and Cerakote on this. I I think United Firearms really knocked it out of the park for me here, and these solid copper vital grips just really pull the whole thing together. I just think this gun looks and feels so awesome and unique, and I can't wait to get it out on the range. Which actually brings up a great point. I still haven't had the chance to bring this gun down to the range yet since getting it back from United. So you guys are going to be coming along for my very first range trip with my first ever ported and customized handgun. I am super excited about this, guys, so let's get out to the range and have some fun. Alright, first shots of the day. My customized Shadow 2 Compact. Let's see how it feels. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun, guys.
So guys, people are sometimes curious about how accuracy is affected by porting. So we're gonna do a little bit of a group here at 15 yards. We're just gonna see how we're grouping here. Okay, not bad. I'll be honest, my, uh, <laughs> my glasses are fogging up a little bit here. Uh, but so it looks like I'm hitting a little bit low. I was aiming right about here. So it looks like I'm averaging a little bit low, but not bad. Let's push it out a little further. All right, so now I'm gonna try pushing it out to 35 yards with the silhouette up on the hill by the tree there. I didn't bring a bench rest with me today, so I'm gonna get a little bit creative here and use a box of ammo, just trying to remove myself as one of the primary variables here. Guys, bench resting for accuracy is not something I normally do on the channel, so I just want you to keep that in mind. But let's see what we can do. All right, let's go take a look at that. All right, so that is a better group. I would say that's about five inches, one, two, three, four, five, about five inches there at 35 yards. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, accuracy is not something I normally test on the channel, but I wanted to give it a shot here and see how it went so that people could get a little bit of an idea. So keep in mind, I'm probably the primary limiting factor here, but I'm pretty happy with that at 35 yards. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here. My custom Shadow 2 Compact exceeded my expectations in just about every way possible today. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This gun is easily one of my absolute favorites in my collection now. I am completely blown away by this thing. Now I put 450 rounds through the gun today with zero failures, with 100% reliability, which was great to see. I think one of the biggest endorsements that I could possibly give here is that after 450 rounds, which is the most I've ever shot for a center fire range review, all I wanted to do was keep shooting. I was just having so much fun fun guys. This was easily the most fun that I've had on the range in a long time. I honestly can't say enough good things about this gun. Now the performance was definitely the primary highlight of the day and we'll get into that more in a minute but I want to talk for just a moment about one of the other big reasons that this has instantly jumped up to one of my all-time favorite guns in my collection. 
it really feels like this is my gun, guys. Every decision that was made about how I wanted this gun set up was my decision to make, and it feels uniquely mine now. Everything from the incredible ghosted camo and the amazingly effective inline grenade ports from United Firearms to the unbelievable solid copper grips from Vital Manufacturing really make this gun stand out in a crowd. Which, for me personally, is one of those intangibles that gives me just a little bit more pride in ownership. I know that Glock guys love customizing their Glocks, but I've never really been much of a Glock guy personally, but CZs are very much my bread and butter, and the entire process of making my Shadow 2 Compact exactly what I want was a ton of fun, and I couldn't possibly be any happier with the results. So guys, if you love CZs and you enjoy customizing them, I really can't recommend United Firearms and Vital Manufacturing enough. All right, well, I think I've sufficiently explained how much I love this thing now, so let's get into some details. Now, first off, regarding the performance, specifically when talking about the barrel ports. In my intro to barrel porting video with United Firearms, I tested a customer's Shadow 2 Compact with the same inline grenade porting that I ended up getting on mine, and during that test, we used a stock 16-pound recoil spring with Blazer 115 and Gecko 124 ammo types. Now, it ran great, but with the Blazer 115, the ejection pattern was a little bit anemic. So when I got my Shadow 2 Compact back from United Firearms, I decided decided to tune it specifically for Blazer 115, and I ended up landing on an 11 pound recoil spring on a steel guide rod. With this setup, I was getting around 5 to 6 feet of ejection consistently, again with zero failures, so I'm really happy with the way that this setup performed today. Now in terms of the actual shooting experience, man, there's a lot that I can say, but I don't want to go on forever, so I'm going to try to keep it fairly concise here. Now the Stock Shadow 2 Compact is a great gun. It's very similar to a P01, which is one of my favorites, but with a lot of extra refinements. That being said, when I originally got mine, it wasn't exactly a night and day difference in terms of the actual shooting experience, but with the customizations that I've made, to my Shadow 2 Compact as it is now, there absolutely is a night and day difference in terms of performance. Between the incredible inline grenade ports from United Firearms and the beautiful and heavy solid copper grips from Vital Manufacturing, the performance of this gun has been completely transformed. It is very soft shooting and my sights tracked really well for me. It was super fast back on target for doubles, triples, you name it. The low felt recoil made it easy to run the gun all day with minimal fatigue and the rapid return to zero just made me want to keep pushing myself harder to see how fast I could go while maintaining reasonable levels of practical accuracy. It was fantastic. Now in terms of the solid copper grips from Vital Manufacturing, I've got to be honest here guys, I actually loved these way more than I expected to. For years now, I've been trying to use the most aggressive grips that I could find. And even though these didn't look very aggressive, I still wanted to give them a shot because I thought they looked amazing and I had heard good things about them. Now that I finally have some, what I can tell you is that immediately upon wrapping my hands around these palm swells, they just feel like they're molded specifically for my hands. They're super comfortable and not at all abrasive. But what I really wasn't expecting is just how well they actually help control the gun under live fire. What I noticed on the range is that when I grip down hard Hard on these grips, they actually do an excellent job of gluing my hands to the firearm without getting abrasive or uncomfortable in the process. It's unlike anything that I've ever felt, honestly. In addition to that, the profile of the palm swells is very different from what I've experienced in the past as well. Now, apparently, the owner of Vital Manufacturing is actually a competitive shooter, and he specifically designed their palm swell profile to help force your hand up high into the beaver tail of the gun, which is exactly what you want. So, yeah, guys, so far so good with these Vital Kraken grips. I think they look and feel amazing, and they function far better than I ever would have expected them to. I've picked up a few more sets that I'll be running in other upcoming videos as well, so I'll keep you guys updated, but so far, I think I might actually have a new favorite grip profile for my CZs, guys. They really are that good in my opinion. On top of that, I'm also loving these Vital Magazine base plates. I think it really completes the look while adding some additional weight, and the way they extend out from the bottom of the grip helps force your support hand up into the trigger guard to help get a nice high grip when controlling controlling recoil, which is a nice touch. Now as for the Shadow 2 Compact itself, no surprise here, it pointed exceptionally well for me. I have years of experience with CZs, they just feel very natural to me, and so point shooting and presentations really felt great. I also really enjoyed how easy target transitions were. Because I've essentially rebalanced the gun with those copper vital grips and put a large portion of the weight in the grip area, the gun is not front heavy at all and it really just feels like an extension of my arm. It's pretty awesome. Now reloads were actually surprisingly good considering my Shadow 2 Compact doesn't have a magwell and the internal flaring is decent but not exactly anything to write home about. Now I do have several years of experience shooting CZs and especially my full size Shadow 2 that I used in competition for quite some time so I think muscle memory definitely helped a bit and I didn't fumble nearly as many reloads as I would have expected to. 
Honestly, the only time I fumbled a reload was if I completely missed. As long as I was pretty close, I really didn't have any issues getting hung up on insertion. That being said, I do think that a magwell would be a great option, especially for competition shooting. The only ones that I've seen so far require shortened grips, so I'm not jumping on anything just yet, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. The lock oversized magazine release button worked great as well. I love the texture and the thumb placement was very comfortable for me to actuate without breaking my grip. The slide stop and release lever is just about perfect for me. It's extended just enough for me to be able to cleanly and quickly actuate it during a reload without breaking my primary hand grip. Now the safety was just okay, which I knew going in. It's fine, it's functional, but it's really not satisfying to use and it doesn't have that positive confirmation that you've successfully put it on safe like you'd have with say a 1911 or a 2011 safety. Now the trigger is excellent. With the 11 pound hammer spring that I'm running, it's got a firm wall and a very light break and a reasonably short reset. This trigger was really easy and fun to run fast. I also ran a Surefire X300 weapon light with a filter floodlight holster for about half the range session and it worked great with no marring on the Cerakote either, which was nice to see. All right guys, so I've gushed pretty hard here for a little bit. Obviously one of the biggest performance improvements on my Shadow 2 Compact is the porting from United Firearms. Now I know a lot of you are probably out there wondering what are the downsides to porting? It can't all be positive, right? And yeah, you're right, there are definitely a few things to keep in mind, so let's talk about that. Now this was my first full range day shooting a ported handgun for the whole day, so I definitely have some additional observations beyond what I had in my initial intro to barrel porting video. Now, starting with velocity, in my intro to barrel porting video we started conducting velocity tests on various ported setups including the Shadow 2 Compact, and so far the results have been very favorable with around a 3% loss in velocity. Now for me personally, I'll take that small loss in velocity all day long for the performance improvements that I get. Now we are going to keep conducting and releasing velocity tests all this year, so make sure to keep your eyes open for that. And I've also had several people asking me about how porting affects accuracy. Now I am far from a precision shooter, but I did do a quick test today and I got a pretty decent 5 round group at 35 yards with cheap range ammunition. And that really wasn't a far deviation from my 15 yard group, which was closer to 3 inches. In the future when I have the opportunity, I'll try to get some ported versus unported comparisons regarding accuracy, but for this Shadow 2 Compact specifically, I was not at all concerned by the results that I got today. Next up is the increased volume of the fired rounds. So when you add ports to your barrel, you're now allowing gas to escape the barrel before leaving the muzzle, and so those unburnt gases are likely to add additional amplitude when they fire off. Now I don't shoot indoors, but I've heard that porting can be pretty loud indoors for sure. But outside, honestly, I didn't really notice it too much. The main thing that I noticed today is that it was a little bit louder, but actually the pitch of the report was slightly different as well, which actually kind of threw me off a few times when I didn't think that I was hitting my steel targets, but it turns out that that I was, the sound of the steel was just not as different from the report of the gun as I'm normally used to. It's not a huge deal for me by any stretch, but I did think it was interesting. Ultimately, you do have to also keep in mind, I shoot a lot of short-barreled rifles with aggressive muzzle brakes, so I'm really no stranger to big, loud guns with a lot of concussion. And although it was a little bit louder and a slightly different pitch than normal, it's absolutely nothing compared to those short-barreled rifles, so rest assured, it's really not that bad in my opinion. Now others out there might be wondering, how dirty does porting make your gun? And the the answer to that is, yeah, pretty dirty, guys. After 450 rounds, my slide and barrel were pretty well caked in carbon. That being said, I was actually really impressed at just how easy it was to clean. I was able to clean the slide and the majority of the barrel in somewhere around 10 seconds or so with a shop towel and CLP. Most of it honestly just wiped right off. Now for some of the more baked on carbon on the barrel, I did use a brass brush and pick for maybe a minute or two and now everything looks great again in my opinion. So here's a before and after shot of the barrel just before and then right after cleaning which took just over two minutes. It's really not that bad and for me personally, the performance improvements are definitely worth it. As for the frame, it was surprisingly clean, so all I did was re-lube it a little and it was good to go. Also, I think it's worth noting here that as dirty as everything looked, I still had perfect function and the slide was still ultra smooth, so there really weren't any pending issues with the liability that I could see. Now lastly, you may have noticed that my front fiber optic sight got pretty well cooked. It's essentially a blacked out front sight now, which is fine with me, honestly. I really just use them as backup and to help confirm zero with my dot, so I'm not worried about that at all. Honestly, I could probably pretty easily scrub away that carbon, but I know it's just going to get blacked out again, and I'm honestly really not at all worried about it. So that's my custom Shadow 2 Compact, guys. As much as I love CZ, and especially my original Shadow 2, I still walked away from 
from the range today in absolute awe at how much I'm in love with this gun. The ports performed even better than I expected. I really didn't expect to fall in love with the Vital Grips as much as I did. And I think the custom ghosted Cerakote from United Firearms just looks amazing and really elevates this thing to an 11 for me. Like I said before, all of that customization really just pushes it over the edge for me, not just in performance, but also in my emotional response to handling, running, and even just seeing this gun. The whole thing just came out far better than I ever expected it to, and I think it's a really unique and amazing looking package that's unlike anything I've seen anywhere else. It really feels like it's uniquely mine and exactly what I wanted. I am absolutely in love with it, and I can't wait to get it back out on the range soon. So that's going to be all for today, guys. I've got a ton of handgun reviews on the way, as well as more ARs, AKs, PCCs, and shotguns. Remember to like and subscribe, ring the bell, stay tuned, and thanks for stopping by.